folks, hope you're well. We are learning Hey Johnny Park by Foo Fighters in this one, as requested over at Patreon by Louis Garcia. Thank you very much indeed for your support, sir. Tuning-wise, you need to tune your low E down to D, so it matches the fourth string. And I'm using the Funny Little Boxes 91 for this. I've got both gains maxed, because it's quite a, quite a hairy tune. <laughs> You know, all that good stuff. So, let's dive into the first riff, shall we? Um, now, Chris and Pat are basically playing this. straightforward we've got some power chords B to A then we have this I mean at least I think that's what they're playing which is basically like a double power chord really like a double E power chord you have one power chord here and another one here so if you combine them all and I think that top E might be open as well that's how I'm playing it. it sounds really full too and the rhythm is down 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 then you just do a little you just do a pull off with the low power chord so like that to move to the fifth fret D again watch that little variance there which is just two zero round again and you just do four eighth notes on that repeat now Dave meanwhile is playing the lead part which goes like this Second time. And then he's into a clean part, right? So, two similar parts, but let's go through them. We have... It's the first part. Now you've got the tab, so I'm not going to call out all the notes, but um, suffice to say, I'll show you what I'm doing with my fingering here. So we have uh, my third finger and my first finger. And I'm just using my first finger there to get down to the sixth fret. Then, in this position, I'm using my second finger there, my third, and then I'm staying with the same second finger there to get that happening. Then you move to this, like, I think it's a dominant seven. So we have... So the chord is... with the open E. Then you have this little fill. So let me clean that up. We have. Okay. And you'll see him live just um, alternate picking that. Which is why I think it's an open string rather than. Um, it's easier to play as well. Then you go to the 10th fret. D, but with A in the bass. So we do two each there. Then we go back to this uh, E7. Okay, same as what we played before, basically, without the little fill. Round again. Another 
the fill, and then we go just four eighth notes there. Then uh, it's just Dave for the first part, clean. We're playing um, these chords, B minor to D. And again, go through the fills in a sec, then we go for this. And then, and then we repeat around. Subtle variation the second time, which we'll come to in a sec. So let's dig into that. We have. fills right we've got these you know do what you like there really but that's roughly what he's playing so again it's just a B minor to a D twice straightforward right then we have So you're just taking your second finger off there, right? And then we go to the A. Sus4 to standard A. Then we go to this E7 shape. Really cool. So all I would do is make this shape first. I would do um, third, second, and fourth fingers there. And then I'm barring the, the whole second fret, right? So you'll see. No, I've got that bit first. It's quite, quite quick to change that. And you hold that throughout, right? So then we're going to play. So down, 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 full chord that on that third eighth note. Then you're going to do, and again, and then the third time. Pretty straightforward, right? Um, so that again, one more time slowly. Make sure you're letting that ring out while you're playing. Like that, okay? Play it around again. Second time, we just do this. Now we're into the next part, okay? So you basically put the distortion on here. that note and then you go second fret second fret fourth fret walk it up to the uh, the fifth fret okay then you're gonna do this riff Branches off there, so it's three times. Um, but you'll note that I'm only playing the uh, low three strings, right? But what I've tabbed is this. Because the other guitar parts are playing, you know, other bits and pieces, I've just kind of combined them into two. So you'll hear. straightforward right but I thought I'd add that in in case you want to add it yourself then you go to this part
pretty straightforward. It's a C power chord. Slide your first finger down to the second fret. Two open at the end there. Third fret. D5 with. Be playing all five strings, right? Round again. And you just let that ring out for two beats. Back around the chorus. I think you just go around it once though. into that again oops uh, three times round it again which is three times round that then we're into change there right so that is three times round of this three times round of that then you go C the four eighth notes and then up to E and then you're into a kind of solo E bit right Chris and Pat are playing this Very similar to the intro, but we have that's the same, but then you have this. You're gonna to go to the A. Then around again. Let that ring out, second time. Part again. And you just do that. And then Dave is playing over the top. So there's a subtle difference. You play at the end of that second bar, okay? That goes with the and then again. Subtle difference, round again. Then Dave goes up here and plays, uh, I think, this. Basically a G, and then you go to a, a D, but with this shape. Two there, then a little bend of release. Then we have this drum break. It goes like that. So we're going to do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two. Then we go back to the verse, but we stay on the distortion. Rhythm roughly is like that. So clean that would be. Down, 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 up, up, down, down. So simply along those lines, um, but obviously leave the distortion on, and we have. structures before then when we go to this part there's a little fill okay 
Okay, so that is. Six wax there. Then two, four. Then we go three of these. Then into this, this part was just the ending now. Four times round of. that's it you're done hope you enjoyed it see you soon